Yeah, it's uh, it's chicken eyes. The chicken little carnivore here. Um, we're working on the deck. Stage one was to get the posts in the ground, which I got that done last night at dark 30. Uh, got them concreted in the ground. They're 30 inches deep. And stage two is the beams. So you can see the beams. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be uh, six and a half feet wide and 23 feet long. The stairs are going to be right here on this end, but you're going to walk into the deck to walk up the stairs. So the stairs are going to be built inside of the deck. So, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the deck project right there. Uh, I only get, you know, maybe, maybe two or three hours at the most at a time. Like last night I had 45 minutes before it got dark to uh, to do the, the last four posts. But uh, Friday I had dug the holes, but I worked 12 hours a day on Saturdays. So, you know, and I'm going to say something. This chicken little carnivore here, if it wasn't for the carnivore diet, there's no way I could do this work. There's just no way. This is, uh, this is a lot of work. 80-pound bags of concrete and, you know, big, heavy boards. You know, and I'm doing this all by myself. This is me. This is just me doing all this by myself. Well, how'd you hold them boards up, Paul? Well, you measure down nine and a quarter inches, and then you put a two-by-four below it, and uh, you do the same thing all the way across. See? A little bit of two-by-fours with holes in them. Yeah, that's what I did. And then, uh, then of course, you, you screw it, but then you got to bolt it, too. That makes it really super, super duper sturdy. And uh, of course the deck sits on top of the beams. So uh, so the deck's gonna be uh, another seven and a quarter inches. And so that's gonna make a drop of about seven inches, uh, seven and a quarter, something like that, out of the, out of the door. Uh, yeah, it's gonna make a drop. So the deck is actually lower than everything. And then, of course, all the way around it, because this is going to have an overhang here. On this side here is going to hang over uh, about a foot, a foot and a half. Just like that, that overhang is going to hang over over there. Uh, two by sixes. These are two by tens. And then it's going to have, of course, I put two by fours in there to, to sturdy it up and, and all that sort of thing. Um, and then uh, it's going to have two by sixes for the for the frame of the deck and then deck boards. And uh, all the deck boards are gonna be cut all different lengths because I really like that look on a deck. It's a lot more screws, but it's well worth it to do it that way, uh, in my opinion. And um, because when you use really long boards, they get, they're so crooked. You can't get a straight board. You know, I remember somebody saying, well, you can't get a straight two by four anymore. Oh my God. You've never been able to get a straight two by four ever. And that's a fact. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm wrapping her up for tonight. I'm, it's about dark and, uh, now I got to figure out how to get in and out of the house. I got my stairs here. They're upside down. I'm going to turn them up and set them up on the outside here and then just throw some boards across there to walk on. So uh, hopefully I get more time this week to work on it. The weather's been absolutely beautiful. It's definitely on my side. But starting this weekend, I got to work nine days in a row in Decatur. And so that's going to be oh, 12 hours a day for nine days. It's just not, it's not conducive to working on a deck. Put it that way. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, chicken little carnivore. Uh, today is, I think, 76 or 77 days. Um, I don't miss any other food at all. Uh, I just love eating my steak at night. I make steak and I've got, um, oh, oh, yeah. 
I uh, saw a recipe to put melted butter, which I've been doing anyway, but then put melted blue cheese with it. Oh my God, so good, so good. And uh, I've, I've been air frying my steaks now instead of skillet frying them. And it makes it crispy on the outside and juicy in the middle. Uh, 450 degrees for about four to five minutes on each side. Comes out pretty, pretty pink in the middle. So, but uh, you guys, God bless. And oh, this machine right here. That machine would not touch this ground. I'm not kidding you. I drilled one hole. Uh, I think it was this hole here mostly with that machine and one way down there the rest of the ground it would go an inch and stop i mean you just couldn't drive it down so i had to use my brand new post hole diggers them are 80 dollars. you believe that but it you know i mean i dug it by hand and uh, that was a lot of work that was a lot of work it took me uh about 45 minutes a hole so there's hour and a half and then three hours and then four and a half hours just to dig the holes. So this, all this, all this went up really quick. The rest of it's going to go pretty quick, uh, except for the stairs. You know that's going to be uh, that's going to be kind of challenging uh, because I'm designing it and building it myself. So, but I'm up for a good challenge. I like a good challenge. So uh, I guess that's it for today. Um, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, check out Dr. Ken Berry uh, on on YouTube. Check out uh, Homestead Howe. Uh, and he's got the carnivore diet documentary coming on board. Uh, hopefully, you know next year we'll see that on we'll see that on Netflix. I hope. So uh, yeah, you know I mean the carnivore community is just absolutely amazing. Check out Bill Knott. The carnivore community kicked in $50,000 to this guy. He's in Alaska. He's like 500 pounds, but he's committed to being a carnivore. And man, the carnivore community is awesome. They just, they stand up and they help people out. And, uh, you know, honestly, if everybody gave everybody 20 bucks, just 20 bucks, you gave everybody 20 bucks, everybody would have a hundred thousand dollars in the bank so i mean you know you look at it that way that's pretty good so well that's it for today and uh you know god bless and you know wish me luck on my deck i don't have a whole lot of time to work on it but i would work on it when i can if i can just get one hour i use that one hour um because i i work you know i work seven days a week so all right that's it. Chicken Little out.